friends, Marty Ware here, just fresh out of the shower in Byron Bay, coming to teach you more about growing food in small spaces and urban places. And today, the exciting video show is about keeping your microgreens safe and protected. Now, you can see here, I've got a range of microgreens growing here. I've got some uh, red radish growing, and I've got some rocket, and I've got some red cabbage here. And it's doing really, really well. Now, I've got it under the trees, against the fence, and it's out of strong winds and out of heavy rains. Well, the tree will actually stop the heavy rains from coming through and, you know, damaging the microgreens because they're very small and they're very, like, soft and tender, really, when they're still in that seedling stage. And when you've got them all compacted, growing together, a lot of them are growing out to seek the light, so they're getting quite long and lanky as well. And you want that long stem... But make it nice and crunchy, it's got a lot of colour in it. I'll give you an example here. If I just pull out a stem here from a red radish, you can see that nice red long stem there. Beautiful green, green leaf with that radish flavour. You know, connect the whole thing, it's just beautiful. And the restaurants really, really like them. So I've been delivering to restaurants. But as I've been moving the farm a bit, I've moved down this other place in Suffolk Park, and as I move the farm, I always come across different problems from pests and, and animal, you know, animals and things around that create problems for my microgreens. And I have had a real struggle in the last week, believe you me. But I've come up with some solutions on how to do this, and it was pretty good fun, even though I lost a bit of money along the way and ne nearly even shed a few tears too. But you really must keep your microgreens protected. And I'm going to tell you more about that in this video so you don't have the problems that I come up with in the future. So I've been having a lot of problems with the Australian brush turkey and some mice. Now I found that over the, over the last year, if you have your greens, microgreens or seedlings growing close to the house, they've got places to hide and they're not exposed to any predators and things. So you need to get your seedlings more out into the elements where they can't, you know, they can't run away too easily and owls and other birds and things will be able to get them so they won't go out there now the australian brush turkey well what a nightmare this bird is they are so persistent they never give up i tried filling and feeding them chili on the seed i tried squirting with water pistols with tea tree oil in it uh different you know even put tiger balm in it i've run rocks at them everything like that and they've just made so much damage I just can't believe how much damage they've done. So a friend of mine called me up and said, Marty, I heard about your problem, and I think you need to get a net. And I thought, yes, a bird net. Yes, a bird net would be awesome. So anyway, I did some research, and I found out that I could put a makeshift bird nest up against the house for around about 100 bucks. Yeah, 100 Aussie. It cost me about 115 to do all up. Now I've got uh, protection from hail, heavy rain, and the Australian brush turkey will not be able to get in at all unless they are like just magical brush turkeys and can find their way in. <laughs> Let's hope not. Uh, so, yeah, if you're having problems with any birds or any type of animals and things like that, look into doing that and putting up. It's quite cheap. You can make a makeshift like me, like me or a permanent one that's got a stronger structure. All right, I'm Marty Ware from Marty's Garden on YouTube. Uh, you can also see great content over at happyhouseandgarden.com and you can subscribe here and watch more videos from me. There's plenty more on the way and you're going to learn lots about growing food in small spaces and urban places. Have a great day. Karen's going to say goodbye. She's on holiday. Say bye. Bye. And we'll see you at the next video real soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye, bye for now.